Hey there fellow collectors, today I got a new video for you and it just arrived today after I ordered it yesterday on Amazon. So, I haven't opened it yet, I have not looked at it yet, so let's do this together. There's already been reviews and pictures, Mattel has been sending the product out and I'm sure you guys know what it is, especially for the title. But let me open it, this will be my first time looking. Oh, okay, so it's a box within a box. Okay. Hey, my box is a little open. So my box came like this, so it was opened. I wonder why, so I don't know what's going on there, but let's take it out the box. Which is interesting because my other box, so I got two, here's the other one right here, came like this. They didn't come with a within a shipper box. I don't know what happened here, but okay, so. It's out of the box. Wrapped in tissue. Box is like super light. They wrapped it in tissue really well though. So let's open. Let's open. Let's brighten up this light a little bit. Just a tad. All right, let me open it from the back so I can look at it from the back first. Okay, just so I could get this out the way, I do not, I repeat, I do not really collect Monster High dolls. <clears throat> the only Monster High doll I have, or Monster High dolls I have, are my three off-white Monster High dolls and one slow-mo. Slow-mo was the only Monster High doll that I've ever gotten. Other than that, I do not collect. So I'm looking at this doll with fresh eyes so i'm not into collecting monster high this is my own personal opinion i don't really like collecting monster high doll because monster high dolls because i just don't like where they're overly accessorized with plastic i just don't like that i don't even like it when barbie has it but the way that they do monster high dolls in general they're just overly accessorized with plastic just that's my opinion uh, just putting that out there so with that being said let's begin so this is the back of the box super cute as you can see that Wednesday has a gloss finish the out on the back is a matte finish hey ah, matte finish let me just say and then you have a little bit of information there you guys can pause that and read that and then you have more information there and then you have right here, because clearly this is a licensed product from MGM, you know, with the whole series on Netflix and whatnot. And then you have the bottom here with this information there. Let me close this up unless you guys need that barcode. Some of you guys may not need it. And I'm about to look at it right now in person. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Oh my goodness. It might, she's so small. Like so petite. Okay, but she's super cute. The dress is lovely. You have this right here. Oh my. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'm, let me take out the box. Because I'm definitely not going to keep it inside the box. I'm going to take out the box. So, but... Huh. Okay. I'm gonna, let's do this together. I'm not going to save the box. I'm going to throw the box away. So... I know some of you guys are like cringing that I'm opening this like this, right? I'm not going to save the box. It's a waste of space. So I don't know how some collectors out there save these boxes, flatten these boxes. Like, what is the purpose? Maybe you guys want to resell it. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know, but I'm not doing that. Okay. Take this off like that. Okay, here's the part where the stands is in the bottom. Okay. And then in the back, it's like this. Okay, so how do I... It's taped. Okay. It's taped. You know, I've seen other people make reviews and a lot of people put themselves in the videos, but a lot of times people don't really show close-ups. Why do people do not do that? And like, I feel like I'm one of the very few people that actually shows 
super close. Ooh. Close up some dolls. Okay. Uh, okay. I know some of you guys might be like, oh my god, you are so rough with opening this package. Okay. And this is what it looks like. So in the back is like what? A mirror with some black flowers. I forgot the name of these type of flowers. This, and then you have a, a, skull, a skullette here in the center, and you have the web. And then you have, what is this, a raven? A raven or crow on the top here, on this portion here. Yeah, and then this one in the bottom here. See that? I think it's a raven or crow. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I know that Wednesday has quite a few pets. She has, like, you know... Socrates, which is the octopus. I know she has a raven. She has a scorpion and whatnot. Um, okay. okay. Let me get a pair of scissors. <clears throat> okay. So clip this. I'm gonna clip it. Where am I clipping this? Oh, her arm just popped off. I don't know where it flew. Uh, her hand popped off and it flew somewhere. Okay. Let me look for that. Did it come out? It sure did. Ah, there it is. I found it. I didn't know her hand pop out. I just learned something new. Again, like I said in the beginning, I don't collect monster hut. There it goes. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. Holy crap. Okay. Wait, how do I... Ooh, these dolls feel so fragile. I'm so like... What? Okay. Oh my god, let's see, let's see. Okay, okay, she still has the little tags in the head, like this. All right, all right, let me just cut. Ooh. Okay, I could just push that in like I always do. Push it right inside the head and voila, it's gone. Oh my God. Okay, let's look at the, at the boots. Well, the shoes, because she has like the rubber thing on it. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you have the little shoes right here. Super cute. What is that? Is that like smoke or something? Okay, a little strapped. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit so we can take you know a closer look because you know I like to zoom in. You see that? Okay, and you have her little hands painted. This one right here painted, and let's do a close up of the face. For those who have seen my other reviews, you know that I love to get really close to the face. Okay. Look at that face. She has a little skull in her eye. A little twinkle. Side profile. Here is the earring. Has a little skullette with the X bones on it. Let's click on this side. The lip look really nice. The makeup looks really good. Here's the other earring. And then here's the back of the head. Like this. And then she has the printing. And let's see what this says on the back of the head. 
So I don't know what I could just show you. 2024 Mattel. Okay. Okay, let's look at the face again. Look at the eyes. The freckles. Super cute. And let's look at the hands and again the shoes from a close up. Look at this. I don't know what that's the, the heel is supposed to be. Something? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Is it a ghost? I, I didn't look at the I didn't look at the information, but it's two different things. I don't know what in the world is that supposed to be. It feels like it's supposed to be like a person or something. Am I bugging? I don't know. But anyhow, she's super cute. She's fastened in the back with Velcro. Okay, she has the little belt here. It has like a little opening on the side. How do I? Okay, so it opens like this. And she has like a little rubber thing here, which I'm going to cut right now. So we have that. So you got this. Okay. Velcro in the back. So you have, it looks like this. And she has the little printing on the back there. So she has like a bodysuit. This is also velcroed in the back. Okay. Super cute. I feel like I want to take the dress off. Let's let's take this off. I want to like look at the whole thing here. Okay, I'm gonna pop her hands out because I didn't know I could do that with these dolls. Okay, so this is what it looks like on her body. Okay, this is probably one of the other things I didn't. I don't buy these dolls because they're giving me anorexia. And I'm just saying, that's just me. They're just super skinny. Don't get me wrong. Also, there are some Barbies that I think that are super skinny, and I don't like that. But wow, like she's like petite, petite. So this is what you look like, huh? Okay, so she has like the little plastic straps here. And then you have the dress, which it is not lined, so you can see it through the inside like this. You see that? It is not lined at all. It's a beautiful dress. Overall, it's beautiful. You have one, two, three pieces of ruffles there. And then you have the top ruffles there, where she has the little cuff on the top right there. And then she has, what is this? One, two, two ruffles. Lined on the top, super cute. I mean, considering how tiny this is, this is actually well done, in my opinion. It looks nicely done. This is what the top looks like, like this. Yeah. And then you have the little belt that says Wednesday on it. Okay. And then I didn't show you guys the certificate. This is the certificate right here. It looks like this. Personally, looking at this doll more and more and more, as I, as I have it here with me, well, I'm not even going to take this out because it's not point, but yeah, the certificate looks like this. Um, I am going to say that this doll is not worth the price. She's so simplistic. The packaging is simple. I feel like if she came with something else, maybe this is the stand. We have a little skullette with the webbing. And this is technically the window that is used in the Netflix series. This is what it looks like to me. It looks like the window from the Netflix, Netflix series. And you have information like this. Obviously made in China. And this is supposed to go like this, right? Right. Okay. Put that like that. Let me put this like that. I mean, look how small this little clip is. My God. So, yeah, we got that going on. Let me dress her up really quickly. Okay. Got her dressed again. Put her on the stand. Overall, 
And this is coming again from a person with fresh eyes looking at these dolls. Because again, I don't really collect these dolls. I didn't even show you guys the braid. The braid looks really good. It's nice and clean. Um, the bangs look really nice. Um, this is not worth the price, in my opinion. The doll is extremely simple. And I understand there is licensing rights. There's, you know, credits and all this other stuff that goes into this. Especially, you know, the likeness of the character. Especially with Jenna Ortega. But I don't believe that this should have been $65. Again, that is my opinion. Um, I would probably say maybe like $45.50. And I think the one Purius should have been $35. Only because I'm basing it because of how simple it is. But overall, and if this was maybe... If she had another layer of clothing, like maybe like if this wasn't so transparent, like this, like it's literally see-through. But I would say that this wouldn't look better. I don't like it too much in a sense where I can stick my fingers and I can see it. But I know that once she's in a in a area where there's no light hitting it, obviously because I have these bright lights on it, it won't show like that. But in my opinion, I believe that this doll is not worth $65, you know. But other than that, I'm not complaining overall. She's she's very cute. But the price point, I think, is a little much. Just saying. I know some of you guys may be like, oh, I disagree, I agree, whatever. But I'm just, again, I'm, this is a person with fresh eyes looking at this doll. Um, coming from me collecting other things that I see the price point in. But, yeah. But other than that, I'm, I am happy that I did get her. Um, she would fit really, really well in with my other dark-looking dolls. I, I am into, like, gothic, you know, horror and things like that. So, aside from pretty and glam. But, yeah. I wanted to share this really quick. And I will be making another review for the other dolls. So, be on the lookout for that for review number two. Again, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this simple, quick review. I tried to make them short as possible. Thank you for watching.